Hi guys, it's Rachel. So today I wanted to do my first ever book video on this channel. I've been talking about doing book videos on this vlog channel ever since I created this vlog channel, which come the start of March, I think will be a year, which is crazy because I it feels like I haven't been doing it that long, but it has been a year which shows just how much I procrastinate. It's taken me a whole year almost to get around to making these videos, but I've talked about them in vlogs before and I've had a lot of people come back and say, yes, definitely do them. So I'm sitting down in front of my camera now and I'm going to do one. And I am still working out the kind of format that I want to do, the types of videos. I have mentioned before that I want to do some review type videos or just like talking about books that I, and like suggesting books that I think other people should read and that wouldn't have any spoilers. And then one kind of book club like video where I could tell you guys what book I'm reading and if you guys have read it too then we could talk about it and we could, t that those videos would have spoilers and stuff because we'd be talking about the actual content of the book almost like after we've read it. And and I've always wanted to be in a book club but I've just never been able to because I don't know of any sort of around me and I'd like to start one but not all my friends necessarily read so I'd have to find other people and I just and then if I wasn't able to always do it then I'd feel bad because I started it and then I couldn't be a part of it or whatever so I've just never been in a book club but I've always wanted to so it's definitely something that I want to do and I think the beauty of YouTube is that I could probably do it and I could be in a book club with people from other countries and people that I would never usually be able to have contact with but I can because of YouTube so that is definitely coming but the first video or book video that I want to do I figured had to be on the book that I am most passionate about or the book that for me I don't know, it's the one book that, out of every single book that I've ever read in my entire life, which is a big deal, I think, because I have read thousands of books, and that's that's not a lie, I really have read thousands of books. Um, this is the one book that, I, that has stayed with me, and that I'm truly passionate about, and that I truly believe that everyone should read at least once. And that is saying a lot. So sorry, my hair is getting in my way, but um, I just want you to bear with me on this. I will, I'm going to talk to you guys about this book and why I'm so passionate about it. And I haven't sort of put all my thoughts together, so if I start to ramble, I'm sorry. I'll try and cut myself off because I can see that happening already. Because I've had this conversation in my mind about what I would say about this book so many times. I'm constantly thinking about what I would tell people about it because I want people to truly go out and read this book. I want them to love it. I want them to talk about it. I want them to tell their friends about it and go tell them to read it and get them to read, get them to tell their friends to read it. And I just want, I honestly believe every young person, I do think every adult as well, but I think every young person should read this book. Um, because I think it talks about something that's really important and something that is definitely I don't know, a big issue in society, especially today. I know it comes up in the news a lot, so I feel like it's something that we should all be talking about. And as young people, we sort of have the power and, and it, it, it affects us, so we should be the ones who are in charge of it. So anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and tell you guys what I'm actually talking about. And the book is called 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I don't have the hardcover, like the actual physical book, I'm definitely going out and buying it. I think I may buy even a couple of copies and I might do a giveaway at some point because that's how much I want the book to get out there. I want you guys to be able, if you can't get a copy of it, for me to somehow get you a copy because I truly believe it's important. But I have it on um, my Kindle app on my iPad. So this is what the front cover looks like. And I read this book probably... It would be, it was at the start of last year, so it would probably almost be a year ago that I read this book. And basically, a sort of, I guess, a sh short synopsis of the book is that it is about a girl who committed suicide. And it's at, the book actually takes place after she committed suicide. And it is written from the perspective both of the girl who committed suicide and from a boy who's learning about why she committed, committed suicide after the fact. And it's written in a really clever way. I've never read a book that's written this way before, where the person who's actually died is actually talking through a set of tapes, 13 tapes that describe why she committed suicide, or the 13 different reasons and different people who impacted her decision to ultimately um, commit suicide. So it is a very sort of deep book. It touches on a lot of issues that uh, I guess can be considered controversial, but 
I think that the way it is written, and it, it, is, it is a fictional story, it is not a true to life, it's not, it's not based on a real event, but what is said is totally things that could happen in real life and it, it is really important to see that perspective and like I said it is written really sort of creatively it's written so it's almost real like I know that a lot of books where somebody's died like they may it's the voice of the girl or the person that's died may come back as a ghost or may come I guess through some supernatural means whereas this it's it's looking at both the past and the present and the present voice is the guy who's listening to these tapes and then the, the past voice is obviously the girl who committed suicide and it's the, via these tapes that you get to hear her story and it, by doing it that way it makes the story so real to life like this this could happen and I guess the reason why I think that it is such an important book to read is that I myself have had a friend commit suicide when I was 15, one of my very close friends committed suicide and it, it shocked me and it shocked my family and it shocked everyone in the community, it shocked all my friends, my classmates. The effect of this one girl dying spread so far that even in like the place that I live, which I live in a suburb but it's not a tiny suburb, like it's there's 200,000 plus people that live in the suburb that I live in and at the time I didn't go, I couldn't go anywhere without meeting somebody and speaking to somebody who had some connection to this girl's life and to her death and had, it was just, it's a surprising, I don't think people realise, especially ones that are sort of feeling depressed or, or maybe in this state where they're considering taking their own life, they don't realise how much their life impacts so many people and I'm sure that she didn't realise that and I know that I, I guess everyone around us was just so shocked. This girl wasn't, I guess it, it wasn't someone who you would think would, would commit suicide. You look at her, she wasn't an outcast. She was popular, she was fun, she was beautiful, she was bubbly and she just had this effervescence, this life about her that I don't know, that's why it, it shocked her so much. So because of my own experience reading this book um, it not only it, it answered a lot of questions but brought up a lot more questions for me so I've kind of gone off the tangent of the book but I just wanted to sort of speak about why I'm so passionate about this book um, and it also it, it's very I guess time relevant it's a lot of the um, news stories lately about people taking their life young people especially um, in because of being bullied a lot of the times it's because I guess the ones that I've heard lately have been gay or being an outcast or something like that and they're taking their own life and that I don't know it horrifies me because I think no matter how bad something is nothing is worth taking your own life and I just I can't stress that enough that it's just it is never ever ever the answer so this book talks about I guess it, from this girl's perspective, the 13 reasons or the 13 people who impacted her decision to take her own life and I think the, the key importance of it is the fact that each of these little events on their own aren't, well, wouldn't necessarily be that big of a deal. If you looked at all the little ones in isolation, a lot of those happen to a lot of people. A lot of these, a lot of the things that they talk about, they talk about sort of being bullied and having rumours spread about um, the person and other things like that and we think about it and we've had a lot, a lot of people would have experienced at least one of these things before, you know, you're in high school and um, somebody may, uh, in, may say that you are a little bit more how do I put this nicely, promiscuous than you actually are and then that rumour spreads and then all of a sudden everybody thinks that you're, how do I say, a skank. I'm going to put that, <laughs> not, and, and it may not even be true but that rumour spreads. So if you have that and you sort of look at it at, at an isolation on its own, it is pretty bad but a lot of people may have experienced that and they don't take their own life. But you add that to other things, maybe problems at home, problems with teachers, problems with friends, problems with partners, and it all adds up. And basically this story is talking about how each of these 13 little things 
culminated into this one big thing where this girl just felt like she was drowning and that she had no other option. And the reason that I want everyone to read this book, and I, I honestly truly believe that this should be in school syllabuses, I think this should be either Year 9 or Year 10. Um, I think that, I guess Year 10 probably because for some more conservative schools, um, maybe Year 9 is a little bit young because they're 14, 15 year olds, but definitely 15, 16 year olds in the 10th grade should all have to read this book because it really opens your eyes to think about these little things that sometimes you don't even realize you're doing to people, but they are really hurting someone. And you just, I, I think it's, um, it's definitely a real eye opener. And when reading this book, it was written so well that I wanted to keep on reading it. And I was truly, I guess, engaged in the story and I wanted to keep on going with the book. And it's not something that I usually read. I like to read things with happy endings. I like to read stories where the guy gets the girl and it's a fairy tale ending because I think life is messy and complicated enough that I want a story where there is a happy ending. But this book, despite not being what I would usually read, really, really touched me. It really stayed with me and I speak to it. I speak about it to everyone that I can. I um, bring it up with my friends. I Truly, there was a way for me to like speak to teachers about it and try and get them to get their classes to read it. I would because I think that it's truly important for people to see, especially kids in high school, because they you just don't realize what you're doing to other people until I guess you take a step back and really see a full picture. We never know, even with your friends, you never know truly what is going on. People keep secrets. You may think that this person is perfectly fine, but they're really having this terrible time at home or they're having this terrible time with their boyfriend and you just don't even know about it. And I think that we get, a, especially as teenagers, and I know I'm guilty of it and I know a lot of people are, and it's, I guess, part of being a teenager, you get so caught up in your own life that um, you don't get to see the big picture. And I think this book really gets you to see the big picture of this girl's life and every single as aspect of it. And as you go along, you just feel so heartbroken for it and you almost want to get in there and try and help her and say, like, you're looking at this the wrong way. And I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it, but I truly believe that this book changed my perspective of things and I think it would change the perspective of a lot of people of their life especially teenagers and I just really really think that if you haven't read this book go read 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and if you've got friends especially if you're in high school and you may notice your friends not necessarily outwardly or purposely bullying someone but they may be doing things that impact on another person's life that you can kind of see as negative but you don't necessarily feel like you're in the position to stand up to them or point out for fear of your own I guess social status because I know when I was in high school and when um, my friend committed suicide looking back now like at the time I felt really old but I just I can see now being 22 that I wasn't really equipped to deal with it and there were probably worse signs that I didn't see this book talks about um, in, in high school and getting um, getting pamphlets and things about five signs that somebody um, could be depressed or could be on their way to taking their own life and when I was in high school I don't think that we ever got anything like that we were pretty not necessarily sheltered but yeah I guess in a way sheltered until this happened I was in the 11th grade it was the start of the start of the 11th grade, I think it was like my second week into the, the start of the school year when this happened and we were just in a state of shock and I think the school was in a state of shock and the community was in a state of shock because we didn't really talk about it. I think the only time that we talked about um, suicide was in maybe the 8th grade in religion class and I think we had a topic called death. And in that we talked about things like euthanasia and abortion and other subjects like that but it wasn't really sort of super in-depth, it was just more discussions about things and that was pretty much it. So until that, I hadn't had any experience with this kind of thing. I'd had like grandparents die, but that was about the extent of my experience with death, but specifically suicide. So the reason that I'm really conscious of this book is because it really opens your eyes to things and I think this book isn't just for young people as well. Um, 
I think in terms of age groups, maybe sort of I, 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 I actually think that 13, 14 year olds should be reading it because I think the 7th and the 8th grade is actually when people are the, I guess you could say the cattiest and that's like what they, they're actually sort of the most clicky and the most um, bitchy and the most, I don't know, I just, I think that they should read it but I guess in a school sense um, there has to be some sort of guidelines but definitely in the around 15 or 16 I think everyone should read this and this book isn't just young people that impacted this girl's life it was adults and teachers and people like that which is why I think teachers should read this book so they can sort of it might open their eyes to how they impact on students lives and I think parents should read this book I honestly think everyone should read this book even though it is probably a, it is in that young adult genre it's definitely not only for that group of people like I said I don't think I think any age from 13 upwards should read this book and could read this book and understand it there are certain topics in there things um, like sex and drugs and stuff like that which is maybe why the younger audience shouldn't do it obviously the topic of suicide is also a big thing but I think the more that we talk about it the um, more people are aware of it the more they're looking for signs in their friends or their family and the more it becomes less of a taboo subject and the more the more information is out there the more likely there are that people may be contemplating this that they get help because if I had for a second thought that my friend was even contemplating suicide I would have done something about it I would have I don't know moved heaven and earth to do something about it and it's just that we just didn't see it and the thing is that you are left with so many questions afterwards that would just never be answered so sorry I'm getting a little bit emotional you just I don't know I just I think that's why part of the why I'm truly passionate about this book is because I have experienced something similar to it but I wouldn't wish that on anybody else, which is why I honestly think that people should read this book. Um, like I said, go out, read it, give it, pass it on, give it to your friends, give it to your family members, because not only is it a really good book, like I've, I've kind of gone off the topic and looking more at the subject matter, but the book is written really, really well. The topics in it and the subject matter are interesting. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you wanting to keep on reading. And I admit, like, that it was sad, but it was also um, not necessarily happy, happy, but it was enlightening. I think that's how I would describe it. So um, I did towards the end. I admit that I managed to not cry throughout the book until the very end, and then I was bawling my eyes out. And I think part of it was the book, and part of it was also um, my own experience and me thinking about that. But overall... I think it is a fantastic book. I think you should all go out and read it. And I'm sorry that this video has been sort of a, so serious and my other book videos probably won't be this serious. I, like I said, I read a lot of lighthearted books. But I felt that this needed to be said. And if by me telling you guys to read it and then having, even if just one of you go out and read it and just one of you go out and tell your friends to read it and then another person, one of your friends reads it and they tell another friend to read it, then... I feel like we're helping and that, um, I guess, I feel like we're helping and I feel that this issue can be brought more to light and hopefully it will stop people from taking their life. If, if one person reads this and real, realises that a friend may be close to it and they can help them out, then I feel like that is a fantastic thing. The one thing I want to stress is too that this book isn't a necessarily a guideline to why people commit suicide. I think in the end you never are going to truly understand why a person takes their life. I know when my friend died, I everyone had all these rumors were going around about why it happened and, and what caused it and, and things like that and the truth is that you were never gonna know nobody can truly understand somebody's reasoning for for taking their life but what is important is trying to make sure that nobody ever gets to a point where they feel like that is the only option I honestly reading this book made me want to be a better person and I think that it would make you guys want to be a better person too and definitely if you're in high school I think it can change your whole perspective of how you treat 
your peers and everybody else. Even if you don't think that you're a bad person, I don't think I was a bad person. I don't think anybody was necessarily responsible for um, my friend committing suicide or for anybody committing suicide. In the end, it's ultimately that person. But if we can help in some way, then I think that we're doing a great job. So go out, read 13 Reasons Why, look out for a um, giveaway. I will definitely when I can try and get my hands on some hard copies of the book because I want a book for myself to keep but I also want a book for you guys to read as well so that will happen soon so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I will talk to you guys very soon in my next book video let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and your experience I'd really like to hear about it and yeah I'll talk to you guys all very soon bye